Look a whole lot different by the end of the month. You've got Volkanus Demir and Anthony Lionheart Smith. That's a main event October 27th. Tonight, number seven, Open St. Drew, facing 12th ranked Dominic Reyes in the division in which they are all still chasing Daniel Cormier. Tonight's crowd shots are brought to you by AutoZone. Get in the zone, AutoZone. All right, the 205 pounders are ready to go. Without further delay, let us get to them. Oban St. Brew has been there. He has done that tonight. He will try to be the first man to solve the puzzle. That is oncoming light heavyweight force, Dominic the Devastator Race. Once just a raw talent, but now a seasoned veteran of the sport. Oban St. Prue knows what it's like to be the star on the rise. And tonight, he will attempt to halt the undeniable momentum built up by talented light heavyweight riser, Dominic Reyes. Tonight I'm fighting OSP. It's going to be a great fight. It's going to be a slugfest. Make sure you guys don't blink. Uh, definitely excited about fighting Dominic tonight. Um, you know, he's a finisher, I'm a finisher. And uh, is he like putting, giving the crowd a show, and I like to give the crowd a show too. Like his opponent tonight, Dominic Reyes used to star on the gridiron. But the Californian found his true home in mixed martial arts, where his perfect pro record boasts finishes of Joachim Christensen, Jeremy Kimball, and Jared Cannonier, all of them in his first three trips to the Octagon. I'm different than anyone OSP has ever faced before because I'm a true athlete. I'm the most athletic guy in light heavyweight division, and when I move, it's a blur. So he's going to have to keep up with this blur. Oven St. Prue's UFC career hasn't always been smooth, but after finishes of Corey Anderson and Tyson Pedro in his last two wins, the Tennessee product has shown that his experience has caught up with the talent, all serving to make him one of the most dangerous men in the weight class. My game plan is you hit me, I'm going to hit you harder. So if I hit you harder more than likely, you're not going to wake up. To begin his UFC run, here is Dominic Reyes, 28 years old. College football standout at Stony Brook University on the East Coast had definite NFL aspirations, but when that did not materialize, he shifted his focus to mixed martial arts. And Joe, he is acutely aware of where he is in terms of this pecking order at 205 pounds, has a good understanding of where he is and where he thinks he can go from here. Well, one thing that they both have in common is they're both tremendous athletes before they got into MMA. What we're seeing from Dominic Reyes, though, is beautiful movement. I mean, he has really adapted very quickly to MMA. His striking is outstanding. His ability to move in and out and side to side. He's very technical and fluid. He's got great submission skills as well. He's a real hot prospect. Yeah, what I love about Dominic Reyes is he's all offense. He's 100% offense. Now, what OSP and Dominic Reyes can both do, in my opinion, is maybe pick up the defense a little. They both get hit, but they don't care. That's what makes them fun to watch. They're willing to get hit in order to hit you harder and put the offense out there to make it a fun fight. They're not trying to fight safe, either of these guys, and it's going to be awesome. This fighter description brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of UFC. We talk a lot in MMA about a step up in competition, and this is a decided step up in competition for Reyes here tonight. Massive, especially in terms of experience. You're talking about a guy who has fought so many top level fighters in Open St. Cruz. He's fought Tyson Pedro, Alir Latifi, Corey Anderson, Shogun Hua, Jimmy Manawa. I mean, he's fought really good guys. And of course, he went five rounds with John Jones in an interim light heavyweight title fight back in the day as well. Well, since Oven St. Crew Dom made his UFC debut in 2013, no light heavyweight has won more UFC fights than Vince. 11 UFC wins, and he comes in with a lot of momentum here tonight, trying to make it five wins in his last six. Yeah, he says that he's a better, he's better at adapting to styles than Dominic Reyes. And he says that this is my 19th fight in the UFC. I started out this thing. I knock people out. I know where I'm at. I know I belong here. Reyes is still trying to figure that out. He says, I believe I have the advantage on the ground. And you know what? I, I, we don't know yet. We we haven't seen Dominic Reyes even be forced to grapple yet. So can OSP create those type of exchanges? And if he does, how can he do against Dominic Reyes? Because we've seen him submit various people with various different submissions. Well, Dominic has that one victory 
victory over Jeremy Kimball in the UFC with a rear naked choke, but you're right, he prefers this fight. And in terms of experience, there's no competition. As you said, John Jones, he went five rounds with John Jones, OSP did. He, he fought Glover Teixeira. I mean, again, fought Shogun Huma. And he's fought a lot of really high-level guys. And we just saw Derek Lewis rally through adversity. That has been a staple of the UFC run of Ovin St. Pru. He has produced wins when he was really up against it during those fights. He has fought with injuries and somehow persevered. His nine UFC finishes tied with Chuck Liddell and one John Jones for tops all time in this 205 pound division. This is a guy who is all across the light heavyweight record books and still believes at 35 years old that his best days could be ahead of him. Tricky got to prepare for the king of the bond flu choke. This is a fighter that brings a whole lot to the table. Yeah, and as you said, the thing that these two men both have in common is, with, is that they were both substantial athletes before they ever got involved in MMA. This tale of the tape is brought to you by Modelo Especial, brewed with a fighting spirit since 1925. St. Drew, 35 years old. Dominic Reyes with a wisdom that belies his years. He is 28. Reyes, the slightly taller man, but St. Drew, as long as hell, he'll have the three-inch reach advantage here tonight. All right, for the introductions now, back inside to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, Fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding an undefeated professional record. Nine wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 204 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Victorville, California, Dominic the Devastator Reyes. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 23 wins, 11 losses. Standing six feet three and one half inches tall, weighing in at 205 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Knoxville, Tennessee, presenting the number seven rank light heavyweight contender in the world, Ovince St. Pru. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Well, Dominic Gray has called for this fight. He's glad he got it. He called it the perfect matchup. Does see some similarities between him and St. Prue. Ariane Celeste, thank you very much. Dominic Reyes, did he bite off more than he can right, chew in calling start. out Vince St. Prue? Some answers here in short order. Tonight's fight clock brought to you by Modelo Especial, brewed with a fighting spirit since 1925. Reyes, the fellow Southpaw, is wearing gray. St. Prue is in black. Reyes said, I got to use my jab against St. Prue. Oh. Right oh. off the bat, just get straight to kicking. Kicking and jabbing. Strong kicks. Pure Strong offense strength. right off the bat. St. Cruz switches to orthodox here. And St. Cruz, one of his big weapons is that left leg. And see who's lifting it up with the front leg now. And he's what, got a powerful left kick. Reyes said, I, Reyes said, when he goes conventional, you're going to see me firing my left a lot more. When he goes southpaw, you're going to see me using my jab a lot more. That's boxing fundamentals. And now we're seeing him also add the kicks to the various stances as well. Reyes did take second at the 2015 IBJJF Worlds as a blue belt, but really acknowledged that he doesn't have the combat experience of his light heavyweight contemporaries. Nice land there by Reyes. You see, he throws that right hook very lightly to set up the step-in left hand. I mean, he reaches a lot of distance with that left hand. St. Prue just getting out of the way. UFC veteran Joe Stevenson, the longtime chief corner of Dominic Reyes. Nice slip by St. Pru. He said most of this camp was rooted in shoring up his defense. Ovin's looking for the take now. Interesting. The only guy in the UFC to have two Von Flu chokes. Actually has three. Oh, that's right. He does have three. Got Okami. Which is crazy. Oh, it's got to be. Even we got to change Flew the name. Uh, he's yeah. got one, yeah. The fact, that we're see <laughs> the fact that we're seeing OSP try these shots tells me that he's not very comfortable on his feet right now. And it's interesting because he, you don't see him just try outright double legs ever. 
takedown attempt again. Reyes showing very good takedown defense. I think he was just shocked by the output, the, the quick offense of Dominic Reyes. Looks like he's going to get oh. this double leg here, though. Oh, big elbows! Ooh, those are heavy. Ooh, he pulls him up the hip. Those can get ugly sometimes. We've seen people get knocked out pretty bad with those types of elbows. Nice takedown. Beautiful, Beautiful takedown. takedown. That was nice. The right, right, right back right up. Right back up to his feet. Look at this. The athleticism oh, that he's showing right. is high level. That's exactly what he's talked about, making these strikes count. And you see how he had that double leg underneath the butt, and you saw Reyes bring his hips in and slide him up to the upper body. I mean, that's so frustrating, because you know you have the double, and then you lose it. Very impressed with Reyes' takedown defense, his ability to scramble back up to his feet, and his ability to land hard, damaging strikes in the clinch. Reyes' longest UFC fight coming in, 3 minutes, 39 oh. seconds. Dominic Reyes is flooding him with offense, reckless abandonment as hard as he can, and right now OSP is square, not knowing what to do with it. And his head straight up in the air. And Reyes not forcing the finish here, exercising some patience. St. Prue is hurt. He's on wobbly legs still. Oh, Look at that. Oh, that was oh. beautiful. I mean, he's being, tri he's being tricky too, Reyes. He knows St. Prue's waiting for something, so he's putting two moves together to offset OSP. And Reyes. One minute he's, to go here, round one. He is letting him off the hook, though. I think he's being patient because OSP is dangerous. And you got to remember, when guys are up against the fence, that's like putting, you know, locking somebody in a corner. That's when they're the most dangerous. And with the power that OSP has, you got to be cautious. Oh. Domination on the feet oh. for Reyes. Yeah. Right hook over the top. Oh, and there OSP fires back. Push. Oh, goodness. He's mixing it up so well. And the power that you're hearing, I mean, when those shots are blocked, they're loud. Beautiful leg kick. Really buckled the leg of OSP there. You're just using so many different strikes and keeping OSP thinking nonstop. Same crew put on a poker face, but that low kick did not feel good. Oh. That can't feel good either. You see him going low to the leg and then high, and then St. Prue's like, hold on a second. St. Prue may make it out of the round. Looks very awkward here. He's just trying to figure it out. Reyes coming with non-stop offense. So Reyes will see a second round for the first time in his UFC run. Let's listen in to Eric Turner if we could. If you're doing a good job on your shots, just pull the trigger, right? Don't stand in front of him ever. Never, ever stand in front of him. Where are we going to do this round? Oh, it's good. Yeah, he's fine. We're going to move our feet, aren't we? Right? Move our feet. Either be close or too far. But none of that in the range, right? Right now we're saying right in his range. We're gonna stand there, pop, 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 pop. You understand? What are we gonna do this round, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good from the over Attack them. Yeah. Get yourself in position. Dominic Reyes putting on a show. Let's look at these big elbows from the clinch. Hard elbows. Travis Brown style. And look at this left hand over the top. Boom, right hand behind it. Just pure domination by Dominic Reyes. Caught him with the end of the toes with that. 